Harry the little snail and Dolly the ladybird play with their forest friends in their happy little world. Dolly the ladybird and Berry the little snail always fun games to play, always a brand new tale. Harry and Dolly say, what will we learn today? Santa. One snowy morning, Dolly the ladybird turned to Berry the snail and said, Hey Berry, Santa's coming tonight. Really? Berry wondered. That's right, he leaves presents in the boots of good children. Remember to put your boots in the window. That evening, Berry cleaned his boots and popped them in the window. He was so excited when he went to bed that he couldn't get to sleep. He stared out at the sky to see when Santa would appear with his reindeer sleigh. Dolly got up early the next morning. She ran straight to the window. Her boots were packed with presents, colouring pencils and a big red apple. Berry ran straight to his window too. He was very excited. He couldn't wait to see what Santa had brought him. But, oh dear, his little boots were empty. Berry was so upset that he didn't see the huge red parcel in the other window. He looked inside his boots again and again. He shook them upside down, but there was nothing in them. He was so sad that he decided to run away. Santa didn't bring me anything, but I've been such a good little snail. Dolly went over to Berry's house. Hello! Look what I got from Santa! Dolly started to worry. She knocked and knocked, but Berry didn't open the door. Where's Berry gone? I have to find him. Stanley the Stag Beetle, Balthazar the Bee and Flutter the Butterfly went with her. Berry? Berry! 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 <laughs> it was getting dark by the time the four friends found Berry. He was sitting on a tree stump and crying. Dolly ran to him. What's wrong, Berry? What happened? Santa didn't bring me anything, but I've been such a good little snail. Don't be silly. I'm sure you got a present, Dolly reassured her friend. Maybe it was so big, Santa couldn't fit it in your boots and he put it somewhere else. No, I didn't get anything. I don't think Santa's real at all. Just then, a sleigh appeared in the sky. It was being pulled by two reindeers. Ho, 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 Santa waved at the children. I hope you all liked your presents. See you again next year. Berry was so surprised. Let's all go to Berry's and look for his present. The little snail felt much better already. They saw the big red parcel the minute they walked into Berry's house. Look, your present's in the other window. There it is. It's wonderful. Berry opened the present. It was a colourful wind chime. When Berry shook it, the little bells knocked into each other and made a pretty tinkling sound. It's beautiful. Stanley fixed the wind chime by the door and they all said good night to Berry. Berry jumped happily into bed and fell fast asleep to the tinkling of the chime. Berry and Dolly say, what will we learn today? 
blueberries. One sunny autumn day, Berry and Dolly went into the forest to pick blueberries. Their friends Flutter the butterfly and Eddie the potato beetle went with them. I'm going to pick the most blueberries, Eddie announced. Look, this bush is full of ripe blueberries, the little snail said. I'm going to pick them all. But Eddie jumped in front of Berry and quickly picked the biggest berries. This bush is full of berries too, Dolly told the others. But the little potato beetle was faster again. By the time Dolly got to the bush, he'd already picked the best of the berries. Eddie, that's not fair. Don't pick all the berries, the little ladybird complained. Then the friends came to a stream. Let's build a bridge over the stream. I know exactly how. Let's all go and bring that big log here. They all had to work hard to pull the heavy log over the stream. The little friends made a super bridge together. It's done, Flutter sighed. Look, there's another blueberry bush with lots of berries on it. That was Eddie's cue. I'm going to get there first. Those blueberries are all mine, he shouted triumphantly. But he pushed past Flutter so hard that she slipped and fell into the stream. Help! Don't worry, Flutter. Hold on to me, Dolly shouted and stretched her hand out to the floundering butterfly. But the water flowed too fast and Flutter couldn't reach Dolly. Berry picked up a long stick. Grab the stick, Flutter, he shouted. But this didn't work either, because the river started to carry the little butterfly away. Eddie, help! We've got to pull poor Flutter out of the water, Dolly yelled. And they pulled the soggy butterfly out of the stream. Oh my! I'm so cold! I'm very, very cold! And my little wings are soaked through! Here, take my jumper. It's all my fault. I'm so sorry, Flutter. That's very nice of you. But you'll catch a cold too without your jumper. We should collect a large pile of leaves and wrap Flutter up in them. Berry, Dolly and Eddie gathered a big bunch of burdock leaves and covered the shivering butterfly with them. I'm still very cold and my wings don't work. Look, they're all wet and ruined. Flutter started to sob. The sun took pity on the weeping butterfly and came down close to warm her wings. Flutter's wings were soon beautifully dry and as good as new. Hooray! I'm all dry and warm at last. Thank you, sun, Flutter said with a smile. I'm so sorry, Flutter, Eddie said. I promise I won't pick all the blueberries next time. I want you to have all the ones that I've picked. Thank you, Eddie. Why don't we share them instead? Let's hurry home and bake a blueberry pie. The friends all walked back to Flutter's house and got to work straight away. They picked all the leaves off and gave the blueberries a good wash. Spoons stirred and pans clattered until the kitchen was filled with the sweet smell of delicious blueberry pie. The yummy dessert was soon ready. Stanley the stag beetle, Balthazar the bee and Bubble the baby beetle came along to join the feast. The forest friends all sat around the table and chatted late into the night. Berry and Dolly say, what will we learn today? The Puppet Show One sunny summer morning, Berry knocked hard on Dolly's door. It's the puppet show today. Let's go and tell Flutter and Eddie too. Berry and Dolly's first stop was at the pretty butterfly's house. 
Wake up, Flutter. The fleas are going to give a puppet show. It's Snow White. The little friends stopped in front of the potato beetle's house. Eddie, are you coming to see the puppet show? But Eddie didn't open his door. Hurry up, Eddie. We're going to be late, Berry shouted, but there was still no answer. Flutter gently turned the handle and popped her head inside. Are you still in your pyjamas, Eddie? Berry grumbled. Hurry up and get dressed. I'm not going. My tummy's covered in nasty bites. It really itches, Eddie sobbed. Let me have a look, Dolly told him. They're not bites. You've got chicken pox, the ladybird girl told her sickly friend. There's no need to be scared. I've had them already and I had thousands of spots. I'll go and get Dr Owl, Dolly announced. He'll know what to do. Dr Owl soon arrived and took a good look at Eddie. Hmm, it's definitely chicken pox. Chicken pox is contagious, Eddie. I'm afraid you won't be able to go to the puppet show. Contagious? Does that mean Berry, Dolly and Flutter are going to catch my chicken pox? No, don't worry. You can only catch chicken pox once and they all had it last year. You mustn't scratch your spots. There'll be another puppet show, Berry reassured him. Don't be sad. You'll get better soon, Dolly smiled. Berry, Dolly and Flutter said goodbye to the little potato beetle and hurried off to see the puppet show. The puppet show was already set up in the meadow and the puppeteers were five fleas. The curtains soon opened and the puppet show began. They all watched the rest of the puppet show and clapped loudly at the end. The flea puppeteers came out from behind the tent and took a bow. It's such a shame that Eddie couldn't come with us, Dolly said with a sad smile. I'm sure he'd have really liked it. Why don't we put a puppet show on for him? Dolly suddenly suggested. That's a super idea, Dolly, Flutter said. And the three friends were soon all hard at work. Flutter drew dwarves, Dolly drew Snow White and the Prince, and Berry drew the Wicked Queen. Then they cut their drawings out and glued them onto sticks. When they were ready, they all crept under Eddie's window and tapped on the glass. The little potato beetle opened the window and looked out. Let the puppet show begin, Berry announced, and the three friends started the show. Thank you, he said. You're the best friends a beetle could have. Dr Owl came back ten days later and all Eddie's spots had gone. <laughs>